All right. I will upload this video in your portal also. So you can always go through it again and again, and feel free to post your uh, doubts in group. We will discuss it again. If any time, any time you have concern, we will discuss this again. No problem. Let's do this. 2023 question number 38. Two more questions left guys, 2023 and 2024. Let's finish this. Two missiles A and B powered by solid rocket motors have identical specific impulse. So I always have a habit of doing this. When they say two, I will divide my sheet. They have same specific impulse. So let's say ISP is same for both. Lift off mass of 5600 kg each. Lift off, you know, is initial mass, right? So this is 5600 kg. Here also initial mass is 5600 kg. And burn durations of 30 seconds and 70 seconds. So rocket A burns for a time of 30 seconds and B burns for a time of 70 seconds respectively. The propellant mass flow rates for missiles A and B respectively are given as this. So if you see for 30 seconds, mass flow rate of A is 120 kg every second and you're burning it for 30 seconds. For rocket B, your mass flow rate is 70 kg per second and you're burning for 70 seconds. Don't forget this. Neglecting gravity and aerodynamic forces, the relationship between the velocity A and B respectively is given as the final velocity relation. Now, everyone knows what is the final expression. You need to calculate the velocities, right? So tell me guys how you will work on this. M1 is known. I need to calculate amount of propellant burn for A and this is 120 kg every second and I am burning this for 300 seconds. So I hope it is clear you are burning 3600 kg of propellant in rocket A or missile A. In B you are burning 70 kg every second and you are burning it for 70 seconds. That means you are burning 4900 kg of propellant in rocket B or in missile B. You know M1, you know NP. So what is mass 2 here? You know mass 2 is M1 minus MP, right? Basic formula. So what is mass 2 for rocket A? 5600 minus 3600. So 2000, 2000 kg. Here it will be 5600 minus 4900, which is 700 kg. And now you just need to calculate the velocity. You people know what is velocity formula. Velocity for rocket A is G into ISP ln of M1 divided by M2. Velocity for B is G into ISP ln of M1 divided by M2. Take the ratio and tell me which option is matching here. Priyanshi and Dave already gave me an option. I just want you people to quickly verify this. Is it okay and clear for everyone? Anywhere you feel you have a doubt, please let me know. We will discuss. If it is clear, give me a quick nod. I'll move on to the next numerical. 0 0.49, yeah, nearly equals to 0 0.5, right? Guys, is this question clear? We have solved many numericals of this sort. Gravity losses are neglected. So don't consider any GP term. The only thing is you should understand the data, how you are calculating mass flow rate of propellant. So you have mass flow rate and you have time 120 
kg of fuel burnt every second and you are burning it for 30 seconds. So 120 multiplied by 30, 70 multiplied by 70, you will get your answers. Can I move ahead? Can I go ahead, guys? Clear, right? Perfect. Last numerical, 2024. Question number 57. Let's read this and solve this. A chemical rocket with an ideally expanded flow through the nozzle produces this much amount of thrust at sea level. So thrust produced by this nozzle is 5 into 10 to the power 6 Newton at sea level. The specific impulse of the rocket is 200 seconds. So they have given me ISP, 200 seconds. And gravity is 9.8 meter per second square. The propellant mass flow rate throughout the rocket nozzle is kg per second. Fill in the blank. So you need to calculate m dot p. That's it. I think everyone is very much clear here. It was a gift in 2024 for two marks in your gate exam, guys. Thrust is nothing but equals to m dot p into cj. Thrust is 5 into 10 to the power 6 m dot p and you know what is cj right isp is cj divided by g so you can simply take 200 multiplied by 9.8 solve this and tell me m dot p give me your answer in kg per second to nearest integer absolutely different answers just tell me one answer guys 2551 so Divya and uh, Anusha, uh, Anusha is okay. Anusha and uh, other people. Guys, good that you people are giving me these values. But when I say integer, right, don't give me any decimal values, please. So your final answer is 2551. Don't give any decimal place when it is asked as uh, rounded off to nearest integer. It won't change your solution. You will get marks, but make a habit of doing in this way. I hope it is clear. No doubt. Thank you. Good.